Did President Obama and Secretary of State Clinton make a bad choice in telling Honduras to put former Honduran President Zelaya back in office? Did they get it right or wrong? We report you decide, and we are taking you right into the middle of it. Now, here's what we know. On June 28th, at dawn, the then president of Honduras, Manuel Zelaya, was arrested by the Honduran military, put on a plane, and tossed out of the Honduras. Why? Well, according to reports, President Zelaya was planning to hold a referendum in an effort to change the constitution of Honduras so that he could remain president past the end of his term. The Honduran Supreme Court told the president this was illegal and that the Honduran constitution specifically forbids this. But President Zelaya ignored the Honduran Supreme Court and forged ahead with his plans for the referendum. Next, and at the order of the Honduran Supreme Court, the military went to the president's house, arrested him, and flew him out of the country. Then, Roberto Micheletti, who was the president of their Congress, was installed interim leader to hold that post until the November election. President Obama and Secretary of State Clinton are siding with President Zelaya, condemning the change of power, calling it illegal, calling it a coup. Now, the interim leader says it's not illegal, that the removal of Zelaya is required under the Honduran Constitution. Here's what we know. Article 239 of the Honduran Constitution reads as follows. No citizen who has already served as head of the executive branch can be president or vice president. Whoever violates this law or proposes its reform, as well as those who support such violation directly or indirectly, will immediately cease in his functions and will be unable to hold any public office for a period of 10 years. So, was the removal proper? Was the transfer of power legitimate? Interim leader Roberto Micheletti insists Honduran elections will go on as scheduled in November. The United States does not intend to recognize those election results. We went to Honduras, and interim leader Roberto Micheletti went on the record.